This is the Silver Spur Saddle Shop. We've been in business 50 years and I personally have been repairing Western boots for 40 years. Today we're going to talk about Western boots and why it is so important to get the proper fit. Um, there's much more effort, labor, and design that goes into the footbed of a Western boot. The reason for that being is if you're working all day on the ranch, um, whatever you're doing, this boot is going to give you a lot more comfort, a lot more support, a lot more long-term foot health than your average pair of shoes. But if it doesn't fit properly, it's useless. So I believe we'll start out by measuring a foot and talking about that a little bit. Okay, the most important thing about a western boot is the arch. Inside this boot is a hand carved arch to put support in the right places in your foot so you don't end up as you grow older with a dropped arch, flat feet, um, bunion problems, toe problems, there's just a lot more shape in the bottom of this than there is in your average shoe. And that shape is there to give you support, to give you comfort, and to keep your foot healthy for a long time. Okay, so we're gonna take a lady's foot measure being so we found a wonderful young lady named Kendall who volunteered to let us measure her feet. Now, what we worry about most in cowboy boot fit is proper arch fit. The arch is this part, and Kendall has a very nice, properly um, developed arch. And this area under here needs support, and it needs support in the right places. So we find the ball of Kendall's foot which is a little bit tricky because everybody's foot is shaped different. Um, and we're getting about a seven and a half to an eight arch length on her foot. Um, we're getting about a seven, a little over a seven and a half toe length. Um, every brand of boots and every line in that brand of boots is probably built on a different last. So this just gives us a starting point, but it's important to look at this starting point. It makes it much easier to get as close as we possibly can to the perfect fit. Again, we go back, we have almost an eight arch length, a seven and a half toe length. Our main objective is to fit the arch and to give it the proper support. So we're gonna try on some boots. We're going to start out with a size 8 and uh, see how close that is. A customer, when trying on a new boot, will really feel that the heel slips a lot. One of the main causes of that is in a new boot, the sole is still stiff, it's not broken in. As the boot breaks in, the sole softens up, the boot will start to walk with you and the heel will not seem so loose. The other thing that happens is the weight of your heel and the bottom of the heel counter of a boot will cause the top of the heel counter to come in and help grip your heel. But we're going to have Kendall go ahead and see uh, how close this eight is. Okay, so we're going to reach down here and we're going to look for the ball of her foot. Um, we're going to reach across the instep. We want this boot fairly snug across the instep but we don't want to pinch her toes in any manner. Um, right here is the ball. Um, in a perfect world, it would be back just a little bit further, but it's just, you know, an eighth of an inch or so farther forward than what, what I would call a perfect fit. Um, Kendall's got a pretty high end step. So we got, you know, good snugness through here. If we roll this, you know, there's minimal loose leather, if any. Um, 
we reach over here and we check our little toes. There's a little snugness on this little toe, a little snugness on this little toe, but nothing that wouldn't break in properly. This particular brand of boots is an Ariat. Ariat Boot Company was started by a person from Justin Boot Company and a person from a, a modern athletic shoe company. So what they did was they combined traditional boot making with ultra modern materials to make a very, very comfortable, durable cowboy boot. In this particular model of Ariat boots, this is a pretty darn nice fit. Um, we'll have Kendall try both these boots on. We'll flex the sole just a little bit for her to relieve a little bit of that heel slippage. Um, there always will be some heel slippage though. We can get you a foot mirror and then you can see how those boots actually go with that particular pair of pants you have on. When you're wearing boots, you're going to tend to wear a little bit longer jean. Um, that jean, if we can get a shot of it, it's not dragging on the ground. It's held up by the boot, but if Kendall goes to ride her horse, um, say maybe her boyfriend has a motorcycle um, and she's going to ride a motorcycle, she's going to do athletic type things in her boots, be very active, um, wearing a little longer pant is a good idea. Um, if you wear too short a pant when you're wearing boots, they will tend to, uh, as you're uh, doing some of those types of things, riding your horse, motorcycle, getting in and out of your pickup, whatever, your pant legs will tend to ride up too far, get hung up. This way, with the proper length of jean that she has on, she's not going to have to be reaching down, smoothing her jeans down, keeping them comfortable. What we recommend is when you buy a new pair of boots from us, Kendall, that you um, put them on, wear them a couple hours, put them on, wear them three hours. You don't put them on and go to the state fair for 18 hours in a brand new pair of boots. Uh, boots and hats, it, they take time to get broken in to conform to your foot. Um, we have some certain softeners and conditioners we recommend that will help, uh, help that boot soften up and conform to your foot. So. In that particular brand of boots, and that particular line of boots, that's pretty darn good fit. Not totally perfect, the ball's off an eighth of an inch, but overall that boot would give you long lasting service and good comfort. And as you mature, um, a proper fitting boot with a proper fitting arch will give you a longer, healthier foot your entire life. So...